Hi, Steve Heineman, Golden Harvest Agronomist, Northeast Nebraska. Today we're in a field of uh, corn, obviously, in Northeast Nebraska, and we're going to talk about western bean cutworms. What we do, we have a er field we're in, and we have prone areas in Northeast Nebraska. Normally our sandy base pivots near Highway 81 and west. We historically every year see western bean cutworm come in at treatment thresholds. They have been expanding their range east the last five to ten years. We can generally see them anywhere in a given year in northeast Nebraska. But today, talk about scouting for western bean. We normally start scouting a week to ten days before tassel emergence when the moth flight is occurring. What they do is they come in, fly in, lay their eggs near the top of the plant, normally at the top of the leaves. And they can be anywhere on the plant though, however, but normally it's at the top of the plant. Here's an egg mass we found that has not hatched yet. When they're first laid, they're white to cream colored. When they get near, near hatching the larvae out, they will turn a dark gray to black right before hatch. Coincidentally, a row over and a plant over, we found an egg mass that has just hatched. And we have the larvae right near the egg mass. This is a critical time for scouting because we need to, we have a short window for treating western bean cutworm. They'll hatch, they'll spend a few days in the leaves, but they'll migrate down to the ear and get into the ear silks. Once they burrow into that top of that, that ear and get under the husk, it's very difficult to treat for. So the window is just a few days from hatch, from the time they move down the plant, spend a couple days in the silks before they move into that top of that ear. It's virtually impossible to treat. So we wanna, we wanna scout for that. When we scout for western bean, you do multiple five or six spots in a field, 20 to 50 plants in a field, and if we hit 5% of the plants with egg masses or larvae that's hatched, it's time to pull a trigger for insecticide and get them. And remember, we only have a few days to get them before they get into that tip of that ear and through the silks. So, Golden Harvest Corn, Viptera, Agrisure Viptera traded corn, has very good control for western bean cutworm, and we've seen that very good control with that. non agrisure Viptera traded corn, needs to be scouted and taken a look at, especially in our high prone areas in Northeast Nebraska. Again, Steve Heineman, Golden Harvest Agronomist.